Before wasting your time we are going to share top 5 best camera for photography. Number 5 on the list is Nikon D3500. This list is dominated by mirrorless cameras, but if you still prefer the benefits of DSLRs, namely, their handling, superior battery lives and value, then the Nikon D3500 is the best one around for beginners. Taking the baton from the hugely successful Nikon D3400, it brings a 24MP APS-C sensor and an incredible 1,550-shot battery life that beats the stamina of most mirrorless cameras by about three times. The useful guide mode is there to walk beginners through creating effects like a blurred background, while the Nikon DX system has a vast array of lenses. If you're starting out, we'd recommend buying the D3500 with the AFP DX 18-55mm f3.5-5.6 GVR lens, as it brings handy vibration reduction for very little extra cost. Those looking for a travel-friendly camera should still consider mirrorless alternatives like the Fujifilm X-T200 and Canon EOS M50 Mark II, but otherwise this remains a brilliant way to learn the photographic basics and start your new hobby. Number 4 on the list is Nikon Z6 II. The Nikon Z6 reigned as the king of this list for a long time, and while the Z6 II is only a modest successor, it should definitely be on the short list of anyone who's looking for a full-frame camera. The Z6 continues to offer great value, but we think the Z6 II is worth the extra cost, if you can afford it, it's one of our favorites from our reviewing experience. ITS Extra X Speed 6 processor brings a host of improvements, including new 14 FPS burst mode, up from 12 FPS on the Z6, and some handy autofocus boosts, particularly for animal eye face detection. You also get an extra US2 card slot, which joins the existing XQD Express slot, and a firmware update has delivered a new 4K 60p video mode. Our tests found in a range of scenarios found that the 24MP full-frame BSIC MOS sensor performs well at high ISOs. The Z6 II also has class-leading build quality that feels more substantial in the hand than its rivals. Number 3 on the list is Fujifilm X-T4. It isn't a full-frame camera, but in our review we called the Fujifilm X-T4 the best APS-C camera we've ever tested, and its blend of features, size and value make it a fine choice for hobbyist shooters. The X-T4 builds on the Fujifilm X-T3's impressive foundation by adding in-body image stabilization, IBIS, faster burst shooting, and some successful design tweaks. Adding to its all-rounder skills are a bigger battery, which keeps it going for 500 shots per charge, and some improved autofocus, which are tests found to be fast and reliable in most scenarios. We think the X-T4's 26MP APS-C sensor is class-leading for stills photography, but the X-T4 is also a superb video camera. The in-body image stabilization, IBIS, is a big bonus here, and the X-T4 backs that up with a huge range of tools and a great shooting experience, including a fully articulating touchscreen. It might cost the same as some full-frame cameras, but the X-T4 and its fine range of X-series lenses make a great smaller alternative for those looking for a mirrorless all-rounder. Despite the looming possibility of a Fujifilm X-H2, it remains one of the best cameras for photography. Number 2 on the list is Sony A7 IV. Following Sony's fantastic A7 III was never going to be easy, but the A7 IV is a worthy successor. Equipped with a new 33MP sensor that's solid for both stills and video, it's a compelling mirrorless option for hybrid shooters. In our review, we called it a brilliant blend of photographic power and video versatility A price hike does mean it's no longer an entry-level full-frame camera like its forebear, but a Bion's XR processor powers solid performance that broadly justifies the extra expenditure. The A7 IV also benefits from Sony's class-leading autofocus skills, plus upgrades like 10-bit video support and a seemingly endless buffer depth with a Express card. Our tests found this buffer to be more generous than most shooters will need, with image quality leaning more towards resolution than low-light performance. No hybrid camera comes without compromise, there is a heavy crop on 4K footage, and it isn't the simplest camera for beginners to use. The Canon EOS R6 also offers faster burst speeds for a similar price. But considering its powerful versatility and higher resolution, the Sony A7 IV deservedly takes our number one spot. Number one on the list is Canon EOS R6. 
While the Canon EOS R5 is overkill for most people, the EOS R6 is a more affordable full-frame alternative that is simply one of the best cameras for photography around. If you already own one of Canon's early mirrorless full-framers like the EOS R or any of its DSLRs, this is a more than worthy upgrade. Based on our review, the EOS R6 brings best-in-class autofocus, a superb in-body image stabilization system, and burst shooting powers that mark it out as a very fine camera for wildlife or sports photography. Despite its ability to shoot 4K 60p video, the EOS R6 lacks options like the ability to DCI 4K, and we found it to have overheating limitations compared to video focus trivals like the Sony A7 III making it better suited to stills photographers. But for photography, it's an excellent, if pricey, option that delivers hugely impressive autofocus, handling and features that make it one of the best options around for anyone who needs a full-frame camera.